classify the equation as a circle, an ellipse, a parabola, or a hyperbola. Then graph. We have the equation x squared plus y squared plus 2x plus 6y plus 6 equals 0. We have two squared terms, an x squared and a y squared. That tells us we do not have a parabola. They're added, so that tells us we don't have a hyperbola. The coefficients of the x squared and y squared are the same. That tells us we have a circle. So we can start by saying that we have, we're going to have the graph of a circle. Now we have to graph it. In order to graph a circle, we want to find the center and the radius. To do that, we'll complete the square. We'll put the x squared terms together. And then we'll put the y squared terms together. And we'll subtract 6 from both sides. To complete the square here, we take half of 2, which is 1, and square it and get 1, and add that to both sides of the equation. To complete the square here, we take half of 6 and square it, which is 9, and add that to both sides of the equation. And now we can factor. We have x plus 1 squared plus y plus 3 squared equals negative 6 plus 1 plus 9 is 4. Let's rewrite this so we can re read the center and the radius. We have x minus negative 1 squared plus y minus negative 3 squared equals 2 squared. This tells us that the center is negative 1, negative 3, and the radius is 2. Now we'll go ahead and mark the center on the graph, negative 1, negative 3, but it's not technically part of the graph of the circle. The circle is the graph of all the points that are 2 units away from that center. If you have a compass, you can set it for 2 units and draw a circle. If you don't, like I don't here, we can count two units in some directions and mark some points on the circle and then sketch it. Let's go two units right of the center, two units left of the center, two units down from the center, and two units up from the center. Those are four points that are on the circle, so we'll do our best to draw a circle through those points. And that will be the graph of the equation x squared plus y squared plus 2x plus 6y plus 6 equals 0.